All right, I'm still under the weather, so it's been a rough few days. Uh, but you know, we're still going to push forward here. As a Batman fan, uh, you know I love anything to react to. Has anything to do with Batman? And I was told this weekend. Hold on. Yeah, it was two days ago. So this weekend there was a Batman Beyond fan film that everybody said is really good that I will enjoy. So <clears throat> we're going to look into it. Shout out to let me um Loomis Entertainment. Heard a lot of great things about this video, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens here. Y'all know I'm a Batman fan, so I'm looking for anything Batman related to talk about or even enjoy looking at. So we're going to get right into this. Again, I'm sorry for my energy and how I'm sounding. Just been dealing with a cold for the last four days. It's been a while, but we've been dealing with this. So I'm getting my energy back slowly, but my energy level is pretty low. So I'm excited to see this video, though. So let's get right into this. Batman Beyond, which I am surprised though as well that uh, there hasn't been any live action movie talks at all. Having Michael Keaton being old Bruce Wayne would be amazing. I don't know who would play Terry McGinnis. Let me know in the comments who you think would be good for that. But yeah, the fact there has been no live action Batman Beyond talks at all, it's kind of surprising. I did see the artwork. I think that was last year. Uh, you know, the Spider-Verse movies, uh, that someone did an artwork of Batman Beyond in that sense. And if I remember, wait, if I remember correctly, didn't somebody who's part of the Spider-Verse movies, didn't he pitch that idea or something? If I'm wrong, correct me. It was been a while, but the, I remember seeing the artwork and I thought that would be amazing. Even having a Batman Beyond movie that's animated like the Spider-Verse, that would be genius as well. But we got to have Michael Keaton as old man Bruce Wayne. We got to have a live action movie and we got to have Michael Keaton playing old man Bruce Wayne. I would love it to be live action and animated, but that I'm shocked there hasn't been there hasn't been any talks of it. Honestly though, I'm glad if you don't have a great story, a good story or any like a good script with it, then don't make it. So I'm not mad that they haven't made one yet. I'm just surprised with all the other stuff that's been coming out. You know, some of the questionable stuff that's been coming out that no Batman Beyond talks has come out of it. Anyway, let's uh, get right into this. I'll put the original video in the description below. Neo Gotham. Uh oh. Terry McGinnis. That man beyond year one. Wow, look how they have this set up. The production look good so far. Hey, Missy, I think you have some things that belong to Bra. Watch out! Shut up, Daddy. Who's this, Terry McGinnis? Ladies and gentlemen, get lost. Don't you guys have some clown show to attend? Come on, Spike, split his eyes! What do you want to do, Spike? Let's get out of here. You okay? You should probably head inside before they come back. Thank you. Well, that was impressive. Thanks. Got lucky, I guess. Our wrestling team's starting to pay off. Oh? Is the wrestling team turning everyone into a hero, or just you? Who's that no, supposed to be? No, that's not what I meant. I'm just teasing. So, uh, what are you doing out here? You're not going in? Don't know. Don't know anyone here. You know in town? Perpetually. My family, we move around a lot for work. Must be nice. Get to see the world. Right. See the world and lose all your friends. 
You can see why I don't know anyone here. You know someone now? I'm Melanie, by the way. Terry. Terry McGinnis. You know? He wouldn't be that he wouldn't be a bad Terry McGinnis in a real live parents. action movie. I gotta go. Wait, can I see you again? I'd like that. Later tonight. I'll pick you up. Mm, better not. Why don't we meet at the bridge? Midnight? I'll be there. Melanie, was that because she has a little re uh she reminded me of the royal family. The ace, I forgot what you call them, but uh, you know, Jack, Queen, and them, and Batman Beyond, that love story that Terry McGinnis and Ace had. Isn't that who she is? Oh, dang. Oh, here we go. Wicked. Remember, the suit doesn't make the man. Maybe, but it sure does help. These upgrades, thanks to you, of course, just what I needed. We'll see about that. The call was just that looked good, bro. Location. Possible robbery at a car. Sightings reported of men with white masks. White masks? You think it's the Royal Flush Gang? I'll head over. Royal it's Flush careful. Gang, that's the name I meant to say. There's something larger at play here. Don't have time for careful. I've got to make this quick for a... Uh, got somewhere to be today. That looked good, bro, for a fan film. That production looked really good. This really brings no excuse for a live action one to be top tier with the production as well. If a fan film looks like this. But yeah, this answers my question. So that girl was Ace. Because I remember that love story in the animated series. She acted like her too. <clears throat> but yeah, he was a good Terry McGinnis. I mean, a little bit I saw. That is sick. He is a little bit on the short side, but whole lot of nothing. Still passable. There's a bunch of crates all around. Looks like they're from Wayne Powers. What? I don't remember us having any storage in this district. What's inside? You want me to open up all these boxes? Huh, oh, right. Scan for anything abnormal. Radioactive, thermal, electronic. I'm gonna say the guy who's Bruce. He sounds uh like Arkham Origins, yeah, Arkham Origins Batman. Wait. Whoever the voice actor for that was, I can't remember. Which would be a good choice. Because I thought he did a good Batman as well. Not sure what this is, but it's pretty heavy. Uh oh. <laughs> I figured you'd be here. I appreciate you finding my package for me. You know, I was hoping I'd run into you again. It's a trap. Get out of there. Not a chance. <laughs> that look good, bro. Shout out to this uh, who? Loomis Entertainment. Y'all doing a good job. I can handle this. It's never just one of the flush gang. I'm a little dis 
disappointed. I expected more from what I heard of the Batman. Terry, the suit! Activate Flash! Ten, not Ace. I called her Ace. Her name was Ten. Ten, we have what we need. Let's get out of here. Yeah, my bad. That's not. That was her name. Name was Ten. Ace is the dog. You don't have to say it. About your reliance on the suit. I'll wait till you're back. Uh, speaking of getting back. This is really good though. Shout out to them. The production is top. I would love to see the behind the scenes of this. Hey, Melanie. Sorry, I'm late. I got caught up in something. That's okay. I just got here. Yeah, he is on the short side, but it could be passable. Could make up for it? Not a chance. But it's a start. Gonna save these for later? Mm, never sure about later. Live for the moment, eat for the moment, right? I'll cheers to that. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. Family issues, you know? Well, not exactly. It's just that... Never mind. What? Come on, you can tell me. Tell you what? It's not always easy with my family's... expectations. It feels like I'm always judged more harshly than others. I'm sorry. get that though the pressure of feeling like you're never living up to their expectations so why don't we forget about all of that and just do something for ourselves I'd like that That is very good. This design here. I wonder how long it took to do that. <laughs> that was good. And she actually plays a good. Oh, wait, there was still more. Hold on. Oh, just the credits. Okay. Excuse me. Anyway, um, yeah, I thought they did a really good job. Uh, the set design was good. The girl who played Ace, I'm, stop saying Ace, 10. I thought she played the role well. If I remember that episode, that was actually one of the best um, Batman Beyond episodes. There was a lot of them, but that was one of them with that with Terry McGinnis relationship with her, and then the ending of that episode when spoiler alert, Ten gets arrested with her family, and Bruce Wayne shows up with Terry, and Terry asks Bruce, "Have you ever been in this situation before?" Bruce just smiles at him as they walk off. He's like, "Let me tell you about a woman named Selena Kyle." I always remember that in the episode, but she played a good 10. She, uh, she resembles her very well. Um, the guy who played Terry, really good. Uh, he's pretty good. Uh, like I said, outside the height difference, I thought he did a good job. The bat suit was really, I, I enjoyed that. It was different, but I enjoyed that really well. I will say this puts live action Batman and Beyond whenever they make it. They're going to put them on notice because this set design did very well. So 
we expect like when he was flying through the city i thought that looked very good so i'm expecting whenever they do a live action that they put they put that you know they spend a lot of money on those live action ones you know these companies so i expect their production to be you know top notch because this was for a fan film um choreography was very good i thought it was a smart decision to have like the, the jokers as the street gangs and the royal flesh gang as the villains uh they were the uh, one of the memorable villains in the Batman Beyond animated show. But yeah, overall, I thought they did a good job. It wasn't over the top, thank God. You know, some of the acting can be over the top with some of the fan films. This one wasn't, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. So let me know in the comment section what you feel about it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to something of Batman Beyond. Like I said, Michael Keaton, when they do a live action, Michael Keaton should be the uh, old Bruce Wayne. Which makes sense because he's older now, so it actually will work perfectly. You don't need any, you know, makeup design or anything. He can just be himself, and just for you know him being the classic one of the Mount Rushmore Batman's, it will make it for even better, you know, for us who are Batman fans to see him on screen again as Bruce Wayne. But also, whoever did that animation, I think it was the people who was doing the Spider Verse movies. But whoever did that for the Batman Beyond, that Spider Verse animation, they need to make that a thing but that's just me anyway thank y'all so much for tuning in i'll put the original video in the comments below and yeah i'm hoping i can be better soon yeah thank y'all so much for tuning in i'll see you make sure i'll give a like there we go